Eco terrorists. You intended to silence. What are you going to do? Protest. Now, for just over a month or so, here in England, we've been having to deal with these just stop all protesters. These people have clogged up the M25, multiple roads in London, and I'm sure in other places in this country as well. These eco-terrorists have also vandalised, as you saw in that clip, uh, that Aston Martin dealership, uh, glued their hands onto frames in art galleries, damaging the frames, uh, throwing soup on the artwork as well. Thankfully, those people were arrested. But these kind of people go, we didn't do anything wrong. We didn't do anything wrong. I have watched multiple interviews with these people. They get asked simple questions. They have to, all they have to do is just give simple answers, but they go on tangents and they don't answer. Now, I hope one of these people sees this video because I've got a question for you. Are you willing to risk one day someone gets out of their car, not to drag you out of the road from disrupting their lives, but to beat the crap out of you? Are you willing to risk that? Because we all know that the police don't actually do their jobs properly. Because nine times out of ten, they'll arrive, but they'll just like, well, I've used up all my resources. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Because, yes, people in this country have the right to protest. But what they're not allowed to do is protest in the middle of the road. That's illegal. Yes, we have seen the police arrest these protesters, but that is so rare. That is incredibly rare. A lot of times they're just... Well, you know, I'm well, I'm done. I'm done. Because I've watched the police actually stop members of the public from dragging these protests out of the middle of the road. They're like, you can't do that. Well, then you do it. Do your jobs. Move these people from being in the middle of the road. They're not allowed to do that. This really does need to stop. It really does. These people think they have the right to do what they do. They say they don't want to. And they say, oh, it's the last resort. And they all have multiple have, of them have said, we are not going to stop until the government gives in to our demands. You have no right to demand that. 